Stampers, this is Travis. Today is Video Friday. So today what we're going to do is make a card using the watercolor pencils as our medium. And I decided to use the Snailed It stamp set because it's open and it's easy to color in. So that was my reasoning behind picking that. Um, I am going to make this card with you, so let's get started. So I'm going to use <clears throat> half a sheet of thick white, basic white cardstock. Fold that in half. So this is um, five and a half by eight and a half. I am going to use two different designer series papers. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm going to use the well suited um, 12 by 12 pack, and that's from the spring mini catalog. And um, I'm also going to use the six by six pack of the Suttles paper that is in the large annual catalog. So we're gonna use a little piece of that. So this is the piece I chose from the Well Suited. There's this side and then this side. So it's kind of, I'm gonna use this side because it's less busy. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on here. And then I'm gonna add this um, Granny Apple Green. That on here next. I am going to use a little piece of our um, baker's twine. So this is the not baker's twine linen thread. Ooh, just a little piece came out. So we'll just use that. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this on. Man, that's like the perfect size. Couldn't have cut that any better. I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to make a knot. So, there we go. Just adds a little bit, a little something, something. Okay, so I have that ready. Now, I did cut out a piece of um, white cardstock, and I used the layering squares. I used this one. It's, not the, it's the second largest one, and it cuts out a scalloped edge. So, let me put that over here. I'm going to use my blending brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Pacific Point ink. I'm just going to blend that across here. Nice and soft. So if you take off a little bit on the pad and then put your, your index finger right there, you have a lot of control. You can just make a nice, smooth sky, kind of. Okay, now I'm going to put that aside, and now I'm going to just take this cardstock, and I'm going to stamp the uh, You've Got Mail Snail, and I'm going to use Stays On Ink, because we are going to be using watercolor pencils and water, so we, want, we don't want to use Memento Ink. We do want to use stays on ink. Stays on ink works really well with cling stamps. I don't really recommend stays on ink too much for photopolymer stamps. I mean, you can, you can get away with it, but um, the remover kind of breaks down the plastic. So you kind of want to be careful. Now we're going to go ahead and color these in. So there's two, two assortments of watercolor pencils. There's the original assortment. Okay, there's 12 in here. And then there's the second assortment, and there are 10 in here. So they're all different colors, so you actually have 22 different colors. And I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Pacific Point and the Real Red from the first collection. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in. And you don't have to really give a whole lot of thought to it because we're going to blend it with our uh, water painters when we're done. So you can just kind of almost do like a little scribble. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna use the red on the heart. And then I'm gonna use the granny apple green on the snail. These actually work better if they're not too pointy. This one's a little blunter and I actually like it better. Okay, 
Then we're gonna use our water painter. So these come in a pack of three. You get two of the, of the uh, pointy brush tips. And then you also get one that's like a paintbrush. And these are awesome because you just keep filling them with water and using them over and over. So the cool thing about these um, watercolor pencils is that you can add to them. If you need a little more color later, you can keep adding color. Okay, so now you can see how it's starting to blend. And why I said you don't have to be so particular about how you're coloring because it's actually pulling the color together. Give it a little red heart. Okay, now if you want to add a little more, you can add a little more color to do a little more shading. You can add that after you're done, just like that. think that looks pretty good. Now, I could bring the um, cut and emboss over here and cut this out, but guess what? I'm just going to do it real quick, fussy cutting. I kind of like to fussy cut. Not all the time, but around these eyeballs is a little tricky. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Fussy cutting is... Um, a lot of people don't like it, but I kind of do. It's kind of therapeutic to me. If I have a lot of flowers or whatever, I'll just cut them with my cut and emboss. But if I just have one, it's easy to just cut it out real quick. The little eyeballs don't get in the way. I'll cut this off. There we go. That makes it easier. Maybe. There we go. I want to cut his, worked all this time. I don't want to cut that off. There we go. Almost done. Okay. All right. So now, what I want to do is put some dimensionals on the back. I'm just going to put like four dimensionals on the back. I don't know if these are big. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They're the perfect size for the eyeballs. Ha! Huh. Okay. So I can add these now to my square. And obviously the square is big. And the snail is small. So what I want to do is I want to add a saying, and I'm going to add this happy mail enclosed. And I'm going to just stamp this with memento ink. I don't really need the envelope with the heart. I just need this part. Just like that. And then I'm just going to cut this out. done stamping now. I'm going to use a little bit of our white glue. Maybe there's any left in here. Oh my. Eh, there's a little I can feel it's in there. It's just it's being stubborn. So hope you have something planned for the weekend. I mean it's Easter so you probably do. Easter weekend, we have plans, my husband's birthday and Easter on Sunday. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the card. 
But before I do, I did cut out a few of these Forever Flourishing uh, flour flourishes. And I did cut one out of the um, Pacific Point. I didn't cut the whole thing out. I just cut the tip out. And then I cut this one out also. So I want to add these to my card. Oh gosh, how much glue do I have left? I need a little bit more glue. Let's see if I can find it. Oh yeah, see, I knew there was more glue in there. Then this one. And this one. All right. And before I glue this down, I want to put these behind it. I'm trying to see what would be best. I think I'll put one up here. Put one here. Let's see. And we'll put one down here. Okay. Some adhesive on the back. Dry, not quite. And then I think it just needs one embellishment. And what I chose for the embellishment are these little um, black dots. So I'm just going to pull up three of these. There's actually two different sizes. Oh. See what that little embellishment adds? It really does add something to the card. So I hope you enjoy this today. Get out those watercolor pencils. Give it a try. So easy. If you don't have um, a water painter, you can just use a paintbrush or you can use a blender pen to color those in to blend them. Okay? So have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.